My name is Jayla Sims. I am 33 years young. I come from a Southern family, uh, Mississippi, deep Christian roots. So um, things growing up weren't necessarily easy all the time. There was love, um, but was there always acceptance? No. <laughs> I remember being about six or seven, and I wanted to sing everything that I could. So I didn't understand why they wanted me to sing, stick to male songs. I, at that time, it wasn't even about gender. I just knew that I wanted to sing these, you know, these particular songs. Transitioning, becoming a woman, had not even crossed my mind because all I knew was I, I was attracted to boys. And at that time, they would say I was a boy, you know? And my grandma said to me, I knew all along. Now she pulled me to the side and she said, now which one are you? Are you the boy or the girl? And that's when, literally, that's when instantly, I'm the girl. Little did I know, like you know what I'm saying, it was more, I was making a declaration of more than just my sexual preference and, or like you know what I'm saying, what we were doing in the bedroom. It was literally, I was, no, I am a girl. I feel I am a girl. I wouldn't have been able to come to terms with who I am as a person and as a woman had it not been for my grandmother. Her understanding and her compassion at that particular point in time in my life was something that I needed. I went from being a straight black man to a gay black man, and then the beard came off, and all of a sudden I was a drag queen. Having been so many things and being them fearlessly just allowed me to continue in that evolution and in that energy. I can tell you when I began hormone therapy. I can put a date on that. I can put a date on the day that I, you know, got my name changed legally. But I can't put it necessarily a date on transition because for me, transitioning was, it's always, we're always evolving. I knew that I was different. I knew that I felt these things. Um, but it wasn't about me wanting to be a woman. Um, it was more about me wanting to be myself. Whether that be male, whether that be female, whether it be somewhere in between, you know, it's always up to me to decide. I'm proud to be a trans woman, but I'm also proud to be everything else that I am and everything else that I always was. If you're transitioning, you can't al allow society or allow anybody else to say, you're not doing it fast enough, or you, can't, you have to love yourself as this boy, as this man, as this woman. You have to have that conversation, the uncomfortable conversation of disclosure. Should I disclose? Should I not disclose? Do they know? Do they not know? You know, and that in itself can be you know, defeating before you even go into a session or before you even go into a meeting. But as long as you love you and love you in every step of that transition, you, can, you have the right to demand that respect. You have to set the bar for yourself. You have to. I had the mask for years. And now looking back in retrospect, I, I wish I would have came out earlier, but it was a process, you know what I'm saying? But it's something that is so, so liberating. It's so, it's freedom, you know? You're able to, you have that freedom. Nobody can take that right away from you.